Today I will be showing you how to live stream with a Dazzle, EasyCap, or any other device that uses standard AV inputs. Now, I'm at James's house, which actually makes this tutorial a bit easier because it's a much better and more <laughs> widespread setup. Okay, so as you can see, there's TV over there, and there's the capture window on my computer. Now I got a comment asking how to do this with an EasyCap, and I'll show you how to do it with the Dazzle, but the EasyCap is just, it's pretty much the same. Okay, the first step to do here is to make sure your device is compatible. Now how you know it's compatible is that it uses these yellow, white, and red cables. So they look like this. If you're doing that, you're in luck. So retro consoles, we that'll work. Now, here's how you set it up. First off, plug your capture device into your computer. So you see you have a dazzle, follow the cable, boop, it's in the laptop, there you go. Secondly, you'll need to download software that you can live stream with, XSplit, etc. Open Broadcaster is free, XSplit is not. So, I like XSplit, but Open Broadcaster is free. But I'm going to be showing you how to do it with XSplit. You can also use Google Hangouts, which is a bit easier, but Google Hangouts is not quite as good. Um, if you're going to be live streaming, I really recommend you get a microphone other than the one that's built into your computer, because they suck. So get a good microphone. This is just a webcam that I got from Best Buy for like 50 bucks, and it has a pretty nice microphone in it. And so that's what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So what you need to do is get your device plugged in to the computer, open whatever program, so XSplit, and let's say that I don't have this on the screen. I'm going to remove this. Once you've installed the drivers for your device, which for an easy cap is a bit harder, but just look up some tutorials on the internet you figure it out. And add the camera. And as you can see, here's the Wii, now on screen. Now something you'll need to do is you'll need to go to configure it, and you'll need to force the interlace, so it'll look a bit better. And you need to make it so it doesn't keep the aspect ratio. Optional step, you can crop it. Actually, you can just click quick crop, and it will crop it automatically. And yeah, it works fairly well. So as you can see, XSplit has it nice and open like that. All right, now comes a little bit of a trickier part. You need a Y splitter to make this work. Now the reason for this is because you need to take the audio. This is coming from the Wii, it's going into the TV, and this cable is going into the Dazzle, and it's taking the signal out from the TV and putting it onto the computer. You can do the same for audio too, except if you stream with XSplit, it does not recognize the Dazzle as an audio device, so you can't stream audio, but if you're going to be using a microphone, you would need to stream audio anyways. Now the reason, um, the why, now if you have a TV that has a video out, like I have an old CR2, the video out, then you won't need the splitter. And my TV at home has an audio out, so you would, I don't need splitters for audio normally. That's why I only own one of them. So it's fairly simple. You just plug the audio, the video, into the Dazzle, and if you have audio, you plug that in as well through the corresponding ports. And they're pretty much good to go. It's fairly simple. Now you're ready to stream, but you're not. That was contradictory, wasn't it? <laughs> Well, you need to open a, your YouTube page. You need to go to Video Manager. Now, there is a setting on your YouTube channel in which you can enable live events, and you need to go do that. If you don't know how to do that, go look it up. We're just going to assume you already have it enabled. So you're going to create a new event, which I'm actually going to be live streaming, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to be calling this, if I can type one-handed, Mario Kart We C T G P online where's an exclamation point okay I put a B instead of a space mark but that's alright All right. so once you've done that you then schedule a time I'm gonna say 11 because it's only another few minutes away and add a description which I'm not going to do and just create your event it's fairly simple and straightforward now you need to set up a way to stream with XSplit so I'm gonna create a new stream and the stream name, I'm going to call it 2. And I'm going to save changes. Now, um, you know what? If you're streaming with a Dazzle, change your bitrate to stream in 480p. Trust me, it takes up way less of your bandwidth. And the Dazzle cannot output HD anyways, so there's no point. You can browse for thumbnail if you wish. I probably will be doing that, but I won't do it now. And what you have to do is you have to take the stream name. You need to copy that and paste it into XSplit, which you do by going... You can broadcast, you can edit channels, and you can create a new one. You got a custom one, and you just name it. You have to add the stream name is the 
stream name. And then primary server URL is, hang on, let me find next split, is the stream link. There is no other, um, there's no backup stream option on XSplit, so you'll have to do it that way. But yeah, it's fairly straightforward, and uh, if you're confused, you can ask me questions. But this is a very basic and quick tutorial, and uh, if you know anything, it should go fairly quickly, and you shouldn't have any issues. So once you have everything set up, which I do, if you're not receiving data, you need to go to XSplit and click Broadcast into whatever thing you just created. Mine's called YouTube 2, so I'm broadcasting YouTube 2. And within a second, if I like refresh the page really quick, it will be receiving data and life will be good. Yeah, I hope it does. <laughs> Receive data! There you go, see? It's receiving data. Now you click preview. And I really do recommend you go and watch your preview to make sure you're functional. So refresh the page again and go click your preview, watch it, and see where you're at. Uh, yeah. And then once you've decided that it's good, you can just start your stream, which I have not done yet. Now you click preview. As you can see, it's working, so I'm just going to start streaming when I feel like it. And yeah, that is a very quick tutorial on how to live stream. Uh, enjoy live streaming, folks.